Well, new jobs in Oklahoma mean a growing demand for a skilled workforce. And in the aerospace industry, no one does a better job of providing such training than Francis Tuttle Technology Center in Oklahoma City. John Bodie takes us there. Working with local aviation companies, Francis Tuttle Technology Center creates a skilled workforce tailored for both short and long-term needs. Steve Dworkcote is with Jet Services Enterprises. Well, the Francis Tuttle programs that we have uh, started out as a grassroots program that where we were going to need sheet metal mechanics that had specific skills. The primary goal of the Aviation Alliance is to bring industry together and to make a common forum for industry, education, and legislation to come up with solutions and determine what the needs are of the aviation industry and try to gear programs and, and put together money in areas that are targeted for those areas that are particularly of need for the aviation industry. And with airlines struggling with tighter margins, the need to refurbish existing aircraft is driving demand at companies like AAR in Oklahoma City. So the dilemma is, do you continue to maintain the MD-80s and uh, uh, the 757 aircraft uh, and make them go another 10 to 15 years, or do you try to figure out a way to buy new aircraft? Uh, they're going to continue to maintain these old aircraft, which is going to drive the amount of labor hours per maintenance visit way up, which is going to drive the need for structural technicians probably more than any other group because structural repairs are what's needed on these aircraft, not necessarily modifications and upgrades. So the demand for structural mechanics is what we're looking for right now in our business. And clearly Francis Tuttle has stepped up to the plate to help us solve that problem. 